What is going on my broskies, my name is Totsuki back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and in today's video we finally have the data download on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, giving us the information for the brand new super evolutions of all of the Germa Double Six Sugo Fest batch, and in this video we will be going through every single new character from this badge, and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and opinions along the way as well. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to smack the like button down below. Got to give a big shout out to the One Piece Treasure Cruise subreddit for the generic translations, as well as Anton for giving us the actual download of the images for these characters as well. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So the first unit that we're going to be talking about is going to be Yonji, Vinsmoke Yonji Super Evolution version. Now this time he goes from a Dex character into a Strength character character and he is a powerhouse fighter character. This unit also, when you super evolve him, will have 40 cost. All of these units will become 40 cost and then Judge goes to a 65 cost like usual. And he also has four socket spots. He gains an additional one through limit break though, of course. And at the current time of me recording this video, we do not know his maximum statistics, but I would imagine because of a super evolution, he would get some substantial increase, which is quite nice. So let's go ahead and go through his captain ability and his special ability. His captain ability will go ahead and boost the attack of strength characters by 2.25 and then also will boost the attack of powerhouse characters by 1.4 times and the HP of powerhouse by 1.2 times. Now this actually means that if you put a character on your crew with this guy as your captain that is a strength and a powerhouse type character, he will give them a 3.15 times attack boost as well as a 1.2 times health boost. So overall, it's actually a pretty good captain ability and all of the Germa characters will have this captain ability for their respective color and powerhouse characters. So we'll go through that once we reach every single one of these Germa units. But let's talk about the most important part of these Germa rare recruits, which is going to be their upgraded special abilities. Yonji's special ability has no cooldown reduction when you super evolve him, but what it does, it will state that if your captain is either a strength character or an int character, he will add 55 times his attack in typeless tap bonus damage for one turn. So this is very similar to what he already did from his previous version. I believe they upped the multiplier of this boost, and with his statistical increase as well, he's going to be doing a lot more damage uh, with this guy's special active. Additionally, if your captain is a powerhouse type character, then he will reduce just three turns of damage reduction, which is the rainbow shield, and also reduce three turns of damage threshold reduction, which is the damage limiter. So overall, I really like the fact that they are giving Yonji now a really nice utility based special ability because before I believe he was a conditional booster, but they've changed him so that he is the Sabo effect as well as being a utility unit. And I really like that about this unit. His upgraded captain ability is quite nice as well, though you're not really using him as a captain really ever, but the fact that his special ability got such a nice buff is going to be fantastic. And all of these units got really nice buffs, so let's go ahead and move on to the next unit of the batch. The next unit that we're going to be discussing is going to be Vinsmoke Niji, and he becomes a dex unit from a previous quick unit, and he also is a powerhouse fighter type character. He has 40 cost and 4 socket spots, and like stated before, we don't really know what his statistical increases will be at this current time, but his captain ability, very similar to Yonji, uh, we'll go ahead and boost dex characters by 2.25 and then powerhouse characters attack by 1.4 times and powerhouse characters HP by 1.2 times. The exact same captain ability except this will work only when you have dex powerhouse characters on your crew. But let's discuss the most important part, which is going to be his special ability. So Yonji's special ability has no cooldown reduction. None of these units have cooldown reduction in this batch. Uh, but what it will do, it will go ahead and state that if your captain is a dex or an int character, he will lock the chain multiplier at 2.75 for two turns. Additionally, if the captain is a powerhouse captain, reduce three turns of the enemy attack up and enrage. So in my personal opinion, in terms of the utility side of this special being the powerhouse captain one, I don't think it's that great. Reducing the enemy's attack up and their enrage isn't really that required in a lot of pieces of content. I mean, they might release something in the future, in the near future, where reducing the enemy's attack is going to be heavily required. But for the most part, you can kind of get away with just using some damage reducing special abilities. So in terms of the reducing enemy attack up and enrage, I don't think it's that great. But the fact that he locks the chain multiplier at 2.75 for two turns is extremely nice to have. It would be nice if it was three turns because then you can carry it over multiple rooms, um, but you can still carry it over 
through multiple rooms if the boss does not have a preemptive attack. Still, overall, I think he's a fantastic unit, fits extremely well on the Germa Double Six Squad, and I'm really excited to see how people are going to be using these characters. Moving on to the next unit of the batch, we're going to be discussing Vinsmoke Ichiji, and this time he becomes a quick unit from a previously stated strength unit. Now, Ichiji is also a powerhouse fighter type character. He has 40 cost and 4 socket spots, and his captain ability, like before, is going to be boosting the attack of quick characters by 2.25, and boosting powerhouse characters HP by 1.2, and powerhouse characters attack by 1.4 times, 3.15 times attack to a quick powerhouse character, so a very decent captain ability and now the special ability which once again does not get any cooldown reduction whatsoever it will go ahead and state that if your captain is a quick unit or an int character it will go ahead and boost orb effects by two times for one turn and if your captain is a powerhouse type character he will reduce three turns of increased damage taken debuff so this is kind of like the brand new debuff that is coming out into the japanese version of one piece treasure cruise and you guys might realize it that some characters actually put this debuff on you like if you use coliseum up he gives you a type boost, but he gives you an also increased damage taken for a couple of turns and what this will do It will reduce that debuff by three turns and we've seen a couple of different pieces of content on the Japanese side of the game Where they give you this buff so having this is actually quite nice So you can actually get around the fact that you know, you're gonna be taking increased damage uh, Kind of like you know, it's still a similar kind of thing. You can still get around this with using a damage reducer um, so, I don't know, it's weird that they're giving you these abilities to remove attack up of the enemy, reduce inc incoming damage, where a lot of people will use damage reduction, but I guess the enemies in upcoming fights are going to be doing a lot of damage to your crew if you don't remove all of these different debuffs. And in terms of his other effect, two times all boost, uh, it's fantastic. I, I really like that. That is a great buff uh, because uh, the other units on the crew didn't really have an orb booster. The, previously, Judge was the orb booster, uh, but Judge has actually slightly changed this time around. So he's no longer an orb booster. So it is good that we are getting a little bit of change this time on these characters. So now Ichiji is going to be your two times orb booster and reducing the increased damage taken debuff, which is quite nice as well. And the last of the rare recruits that we're going to be talking about is going to be against Vinsmoke Raju. Now, hopefully I don't get demonetized for putting this artwork on the video because holy damn, they went in with this Raju artwork and it looks absolutely fantastic. But let's talk about Raju. So she becomes a Psy character from a previously five-star version of an Int character. Now... Raju is a powerhouse cerebral character, very similar to her 5 star form, and she becomes 40 cost with 4 socket spots, and her captain ability is very similar to the other characters, Psy characters get 2.25 attack, and powerhouse will get 1.4 times attack as well, and instead of boosting HP, she will boost recovery of powerhouse by 1.2 times, so I would say she's probably the worst out of the captain abilities, but you, as, as we mentioned before, you're not going to be using these characters as captains, but now let's talk about her special ability. So Raju's special ability has changed vastly from her previous version and what it will do, it will state that if your captain is a Psy or an Int character, she will reduce 3 turns of attack down on your crew, she reduces 3 turns of special bind and she will apply toxic to the enemy and this toxic is a 20 times attack uh, toxic that will happen every single turn and if you guys know how toxic works it will actually go ahead and stack up after every turn so it multiplies by 20 after each turn so it's very similar to legend magellan or raid magellan if you guys know exactly how he works however rager's poison will only stack up to 500,000 and it will continue to do 500,000 at the end of each turn with the toxic applied and remember, this is just her first part of her special ability. The second part of her special ability will state that if your captain is a powerhouse character, for one turn, boost attack against toxic enemies by 1.75 times. So again, this unit is absolutely amazing, and we didn't really have a conditional booster for the crew thus far, and Reju fulfills this position right here. Reju, in the previous version of the Germa Double Six team, was kind of like your utility unit, and a lot of people were kind of upset that she didn't have any kind of poison mechanic, but finally now we are getting a Reju that does do that, and she is 
absolutely amazing, and I think that she actually might have gotten the coolest buff out of all of the units. However, she doesn't reduce paralysis anymore, and that's one of the big things that I noticed with this squad, is that there is no paralysis reduction now, and there's no bind and despair reduction now either. So I don't really know how that's going to play into part with how good this team actually is going to be, but I really like the fact now that there are lots of different boosts on this crew now, and there are lots of different utility pieces on this crew as well, and that's one of the big things that I like is the fact that you now have way different other abilities that you can use to get around certain pieces of content, and now the German Double Six team, I think, is the clear-cut best team in the game, but we still haven't discussed the most important piece of the crew being the Captain Judge. So I'd like to introduce you guys to the brand new Super Evolved 6 plus Vinsmoke Judge. So Judge is an int character this time around from a previously 6 star Psy type unit and his classes are maintained the same, powerhouse driven. He goes to a 65 cost with 5 socket spots. Now his captain ability overall hasn't really changed that much but there are a couple of key changes that really impact how the German Double Six team is going to function. So first of all let's go ahead and go through it. So it will boost all characters HP by 1. 1.25, boost all characters attack by 3.93 when you have a matching orb, and if you don't have a matching orb, it is only a 2.25 times attack boost, and in order to get all these boosts, you need to have one of every color on your crew to do so. He will also go ahead and reduce all damage taken by 15%, so overall, there's been no changes there whatsoever. Damage reduction, health boost, and attack boost are all the exact same as his regular 6-star form. This is where the changes come in though, he will no longer make Psy Orbs appear more often, because he's now transformed into an Int character, he will make Int Orbs appear more often on your crew. And a key change here is that all of these rare recruits in this batch have their first Sailor ability changed, so they no longer treat Psy Orbs as beneficial, but they treat Int, int Orbs as beneficial, which obviously is a very key change. If they made, if they made him that still Psy Orbs were the same and Psy Orbs were beneficial, I think that would be a little bit weird, but now it's really nice because because, you know, you're going to have interwebs appear more often and all the German will treat them as beneficial. But the final key change that I want to discuss here is the fact that he will also treat all non-matching orbs as beneficial for your entire crew. So this means that, you know, you'll have your full German squad and if your Niji gets a strength orb for whatever reason, that will also be counted as beneficial. So it basically means that your crew members will never have a negative orb, and even if they do get given negative orbs, boom, they're positive. So I really, really like the fact that this is a thing, because I feel like if there is a buff that treats all your orbs as negative, does he treat them as positive? I'm pretty sure that's what will happen. If that's not the case, then I'm not really too sure, but I'm pretty sure if there's a diva put in your crew, where let's say all colored orbs are counted as negative, would this mean that they counted as positive with his captain ability? I'm pretty sure it does, because it states all non-matching are treated as matching. So I think that's the case. Uh, if it's not, then, you know, it's whatever. But either way, it's still great the fact that he makes all your orbs on your team just more useful. And I really like that about Judge. I'm not really too sure how the fact that it makes int orbs appear more often. I'm not really too sure if that is going to impact how Judge works on other rainbow teams and not German double six based. We'll have to wait and see for that. But overall, as a captain, he's fantastic. And I really do like the buff that they gave to his captain ability. The changes do not end there. He actually has a different special ability this time around, and what it does, it will go ahead and reduce all damage taken by 30% for the next two turns. So when you're running this guy as a captain with double judge and this special active, you're only taking 50% of the natural damage, which is fantastic. Really nice ability right there. He will also go ahead and boost the attack of powerhouse, driven, and fighter characters by two times for one turn. And if he is your captain or your friend captain or your helper captain, he will change all slots on your crew, including block, into int. So a really weird decision to go ahead and actually change his special ability up from what it was. This basically means that his rainbow teams without the Germa squad are going to be a little bit more difficult to build with because you had Judge before who was like your dedicated orb booster for your teams, for your rainbow teams. But with this special ability, it's going to be a little bit harder because he boosts powerhouse driven and fighter characters. So it means that you really have to try and hone in on those type of classes. Or it just means that, you know, you basically just want to be running him with the Germa 
the squad overall. And I really like the fact that he will guarantee you a full board of orbs now. Previously with Judge, he would change all your block orbs, but there was just a, a higher chance of getting your Psy orbs. But with this time around, you're guaranteed to get a full board of orbs, which I think is a really big plus and it really needed to happen. Previously, I was really upset with the fact that, you know, it was only just a randomization, but this is a really nice buff. And the damage reduction is a really nice touch as well. I'm not really too sure why they added this, but I'm all for it. You know, uh, taking less damage is always good. It's only 30% reduction though, but when you count in the double judge captain abilities, you know, as I said before, only taking 50% of the overall damage is quite nice, and I really like this, this buff overall. Um, I think that this is a really good upgrade to the German squad. Is it going to be a straight upgrade, or is, this a, is it a side grade? I think that overall, some of the units got a side grade, and some of the units got an upgrade. Um, I think that this is going to be a, a well worth venture to try and super evolve these characters. Uh, people might ask, you know, should I have an unevolved version of the German batch? I think it could be kind of a good thing to have because the other German units won't work as well with 6 plus judge as a captain, and then these super evolved ones won't work with uh, the, old, the old judge as a captain. So you actually need one of each of these characters in order to get the full benefit of them. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out, and I really cannot wait to see how some of these Japanese players are going to use these characters against certain pieces of content. All of these characters that, that we just stated in this video are counted as trusty characters for the next Japanese treasure map against whoever what boss it's going to be. So make sure if you guys have these characters to probably super evolve them, and you can go ahead and use them for the upcoming pieces of content. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed my content. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.